Hey there, so today we have another review. This is courtesy of Elise. Thank you so much. Um, this is from Tactical. So what is this? Uh, improvised explosive moms. Improvised explosive moms. Interesting. Right? Moms? Noms. Noms. Impro <laughs> improvised explosive noms. Try to say that three times fast, two, five times fast. Um, some guys. Love labels on there. Great, great, great coloring and quality of the, the labeling. Um, you get that kind of foily kind of to do. Like, they, they just... Don't cut costs on that. And the cool thing is that you have all, all this information, but then you get to like have a full, like what, three quarter label instead of like just half. The art really rocks here. Florida Visa, Florida Visa. Right? Shout out to what um, Jay Wakefield for sort of being progenitor of that 4.8%. Florida Visa, passion fruit and vanilla. This sounds amazing. Passion fruit is a cheater fruit. I think I had the sword on the side. Yeah, I had the sword on the side. So. Um, I can go wrong. Add that looks like a puree bomb. Head is really uh, not really retentive. Die away just immediately. Um, thick, creamy, kind of this kind of like light to medium gold color, super hazy, and that head is absolutely gone already. So I assume this beer is going to be quite puree forward. Let's see. Uh, that's straight in passion fruit. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it smells like freaking passion fruit puree, and there's nothing really underneath it other than a little bit of that kind of or underneath is acidity of the beer. Oh yeah, um, so this base beer is quite sour. Um, medium plus the full acidity on that. Not necessarily too sludgy of a beer. A lot of these are like smoothie sours, so it's like, right? Or you can really waste a lot of money, or not waste, but like spend a lot of money on these fruit purees. Um, this one doesn't really have that. Um, it's sort of in the middle. Definitely like, not something where it's like, hey, this is a Berliner with like some fruit added. And definitely not a smoothie sour, so somewhere in the middle. But heavily fruit, heavily, heavily fruit. You can see it in the appearance. You can see the head being destroyed by that. Um, the vanilla is actually quite nice in here in the sense that I didn't really taste it. Um, I couldn't tell you there's vanilla in here blind at all. It's that trick that Urban Artifact does, which is, I believe, the largest kettle sour in the entire country. They produce a good jillion barrels of say, exclusively pretty much kettle sour. And um, vanilla for them is a really fun ingredient to really just like round out a beer. It's very expensive, but if you um, use it sparingly and use it correctly, it really just rounds out a beer. I think that's probably what's happening here because this beer can be, this beer seems like it can be too acidic. The passion fruit is very acidic. The base beer is quite acidic. And then it's a nice softening texture to it. But I mean, what do you want me to say? It is exactly um, a big, punchy uh, floor device. This is not pushing back on the fruits. Um, it's not a beer that really shines on the, the base beer. The acidity is definitely there. But it's pushing a lot of the um, passion fruit to show up while still not going all the way where it's like, where it's, you know, again, like, I, I don't know if you guys have had pastry sours or smoothie or pastry sours before where it's like, the palate is just like ripped and it's cloying. And it's not always cloying, but certainly get like a mouthfeel where you're like, I don't know how much of this is beer versus puree, right? Like, you're, you're that far. This is obviously pretty intense on that too, but again, tastes like beer. Like a Berlin it tastes like fruit, chunky, chunky, chunky smoothie sour. Yeah, we're like anywhere from sixty-five to seventy-five percent, right? Like you know, somewhere around there. So not all the way, but pretty, pretty intense. Passion fruit is a cheetah fruit. I don't really tell you. It tastes like a sour base beer that's actually quite acidic. So medium plus full acidity, a lot of passion fruit. And that's it. <laughs> it that's, the floor device is not actually, it's um, a lot of impression, but it's not a lot of complexity. So, I will give this beer credit for the fact that it's not that sludgy. There are points for impression where it gets, oh, sorry, this one. There are impression points where it gets so sludgy where it's like, okay, that's all impression. Here, just on the drinkability and the impressions, it's like you know. <sighs> I'm trying to battle myself. Um, let's go safe and give it ninety-one. It's fine. <laughs>
imp uh, improvised explosive noms. Um, I think some people will give this super high ratings, like A plus A. 91 is a very strong rating. Um, that's what it does. It is what it is. It's just simple. It's it's very sour base beer, a lot of passion fruit puree, not going all the way to smoothie sour, and the vanilla probably is in there just rounding things out. Very simple sentence to write about this beer. It does what it does. Florida Vice, passion fruit, cheers, 91, tactical, one of the best breweries in town. Check them out if you're in Florida. Until next time, cheers. Later.